going on back again if you're new to my channel welcome if you're someone who's been here before welcome to you and thank you for coming back today it's a charity shop and a jumble sale haul because i've actually been to a jumble sale i've seen a sign i told you i don't if you watched last week i've seen a jumble sale sign and i haven't been to a jumble sale for forever and i've seen a jumble sale sign so basically we went to a jumble all i got was shoes because the clothes, uh, there was just like a table, big square table, like in like a circle square table. And there was just piles and piles of clothes. And I did try and have a mooch through, but it was a bit of a free for all. And what I could see, I wasn't that impressed. We've seen a lot of either kiddies clothes or like um, just supermarket clothes. I couldn't see anything that was, but to be, it was 20p. The clothes were like 20 p each, and I'm not, I'm obviously being too picky, but yeah. And then while I was looking through there, a woman shouted, Shoes and bags in the other room, so I, I was off. So yeah, so I managed to pick a few pairs of shoes up for I think they charged me a pound and two pound. So I was pleased with that. So next time I see another jumble sale sign, I'll be there. But that's the first time I've seen one in years, but I might have a look on Facebook, see if I can find anything there. The rest is um charity shop stuff so if you're not into shoes this video is like so i've got loads of shoes i've just gone mad on shoes again there's a few other little bits and bobs but 90 percent of it is shoes oh god my hair i'm gonna tie my hair up in a minute basically i tried again to with my curler yeah i'm gonna tie it up in a minute i tried again to curl my hair this morning it didn't look too bad because i have to get a weight watchers on the sunday but i've been windswept since so and it's gone a bit so i went to weight watchers and basically i'm the same weight that i started what was it three weeks ago now i cracked up laughing when when i stepped on the scales and seen my weight again and the, the woman like she's lovely but she's like oh don't know what have you done have you not been on plan and i'm like well I have had a Big Mac and a McFlurry and some samosas and some hot chocolate. So basically, no, <laughs> I haven't stuck to plan. If my plan is eating all the crap possible, then yeah, I've stuck to my plan, but not the Weight Watchers plan. So this week, I'm going to try and be really, really good and stay within my points. And I might even do some exercise, but don't hold me to that. So next week, hopefully, I'll make a loss. You never know. Strange things have happened. But what I do now is get something to tie my hair back with and sort out. I might show you jumble stuff first and then the charity shop stuff. So see you in a sec. So I'm in my bedroom again for several reasons. The main one is the little bedroom to tip again and I can't move. And the other reason is my neighbour is lawn mowing his front. And in a minute now, I reckon he's going to be doing the back. So if you can hear any, I've seen him with his shovel as well, scraping. So if you can hear scraping or lawnmower and all banging, that's him, not me. So, yeah, so the first thing I got from the jumble sale was this calculator. Now, I'm not sure if it's one of the ones that are worth a lot, but it was 20p. And I thought if it's not worth anything, I'm keeping it for myself. Because, well, because they're useful, <laughs> you know, and yeah just just for the reason because i want it so yeah so i might end up keeping that so that was 20p the shoes like i says were pound and two pounds i mean i did have a discussion with this old woman there who was saying oh they're charging a fair bit for the shoes aren't they <laughs> like, you know she had some um m&s shoes which were very similar to the ones that she was wearing and i said well to be fair i said they're cheaper than the charity shop so she was like, oh, yeah you've got a point and i'm like Charity shops will probably charge you six quid for them and they charge her a pound, which they look pretty brand new. They were really good. So first things I picked up, these Rika, is it Rika? Shoes, boots, pound. I'm happy with them. Next thing, they charged me two pounds for these Cotton Trader. Like, I don't know if they're like walking shoes, boots, in really good condition yeah two pounds for them next thing now these if they were my size and they fitted i'd have them pound for these m&s shoes boots not shoes so they're quite nice suede brown ones 
So I thought they were really nice. I got them. And just one more pair of men's shoes, size 8, Clarks again. You know how uh, I love my Clark shoes. So I think she charged me a pound for them as well. So I got what? Three, what? Yeah, four pairs of shoes and a calculator. And it cost 20p to get in. And it was well worth it. 20p bargain. Bargain 20p to get in, 20p for a calculator, pound for a pair of shoes. You can't knock that, can you? So, yeah, so I'm over the moon. I just wish there was more jumbo sales. Got the word there, jumbo sales. So, yeah, so that's that. Now, I'll, oh, I don't really know what to do with the charity shop stuff. As you can see, all them bags, they all go along there. Got loads of bags of stuff. I think I'll just show you all the shoes first. And then just show you the other little bits and bobs that I've got. And there's not a lot. Now, yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. So one sec. I think it would just be easier, you know, if I just grab the stuff out the bags and show you the stuff as, I, as I'm seeing them again. Because trying to put them in any sort of order at the moment is proving mission impossible. So, right, I'll start with this bag first then. Right, this bag... I can't even remember what shops I got them from because I've just been going a bit I'm, actually I think these ones are today's yeah these are today's little haul so the first thing or was it yesterday I can't remember uh, well it had a £1.95 on oh, which has just flew off because I said to the woman in the shop I don't think this is the right price on this what, what's the price so she had a look at them and hush puppies men's shoes Definitely hush puppies. I don't know if you can see it. No, I don't think you can see. It. Anyway, she said two pound. Is it two pound fifty? So two pound fifty for them. And they got the price what they originally was. Obviously, I ain't going to get anywhere near that because they're second hand now. But hush puppy shoes. I was pleased with that price. What I'm doing is putting everything back in bags as I'm going. Which bag did I just have then? I don't know what bag I had then. Right. So the next item. Or item shoes, hotter, can't beat a bit of hotter, and they were £4, and as you can see, they're in pretty much newish condition, for £4, they're not the nicest of shoes, I've got to say, but I have to try and remember, they're not for me, they're not mine, they're for selling, so that was then, and then the next item, Gabor, got some Gabor shoes, which are nice and shiny, and they were again four pounds. So they can go back in that bag. So, that in there. so next next bag. I'm gonna run out of space in a minute. I might have to move it, stop in a minute, move the stuff out of the way and then show you some more. But uh, I'm really sorry if you're not into shoes, because this is really loads of shoes again. Hotter. Hotter and Clarks, <laughs> that seems to be my thing. Hotter shoes. They were four pounds. They're in really good condition. So yeah, they can go there for now. Next item. A pair of Jones shoes. These are quite nice, as you can see. Big three pound. A three pound. Like I just said, sorry. A lovely colour. 30, 38. So again, not my size because I'd quite like to keep them myself because I quite like them. They're quite nice. So I put them there. Next bag is a pair of Kurt Geiger. Da -da -da. Kurt Geiger shoes, needed clean obviously, but they were £3.50. They're bur I can't tell if they're burgundy or brown. I have to wait for a different lot or wait for Sully to come home and ask him because he's pretty good with his colours. So I've got them there. So next is on the side Hotter. Another pair of Hotter. And they were, why oh, can't I see the price? They were fiver. That was a lot for me, wasn't it? <laughs> like five pounds, but they're again, look, new. So put them there. Next bag, oh, still some in there. I wish I, yeah, I showed you them. I just showed you them, you know. I'm getting to myself confused. Right, another bag. Clarks. Clarks suede shoes. Three pounds, they're quite nice, in pretty good condition, just need a bit of a clean up. We'll put them 
there. Next, the sandals, which are Clark's again. I like the Clark's. Snake skin style. They were, I didn't have a three pound, but the stickers fell off. I'm sure they were three pounds. Can you see? They're quite nice. So they can go there. Next, on the pavers, a bit of pavers, the cool do dolly shoes. They were £3.50 and they look new. No, they're not new, they'll be dirt on, but nearly new. So, yeah, got them. Next bag. Oh, that's a top for me. Is that a top for me? Yeah, it's one of my tops. I'll show you my top. I know you're not really interested, but that's a top for me. And that costs three pounds. Bit weird arms, but I'm gonna do. I basically, as you know, I do hauls of my clothes as well. I've just got bags and bags of clothes that I bought for myself that I haven't even took out the bag. So I'm gonna do a charity shop haul and try on. And yeah, there's gonna be loads of them. So I'll shut that there for now because that's gonna be washed. I ain't even tried it on, but that's three quid. So next item, these. Van Dal. I always get to say Van Dam, but it's not Van Dam. So they were again four ninety five, but they look in pretty good condition again. Look as if they've probably been worn once, because hence the dirt. So they right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop the video, put all these away, and then sort out the other stuff. Because what my plan of action is, because I've only got a basic shop and I want to. Basically sell more because I'm ugly selling bugger all. I want to do a feature shop again, but the mistake I made last time was opening the feature shop, not having enough stuff to put on, not selling enough, ending up owing eBay more money than I was making, and then I just got fed up and just thought I sod it and went back down a level. So my plan is now basically build a stockpile of stuff that hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll sell. That's why I haven't researched any of this yet because I'm not putting it on yet. So I'm going to basically put all these back in the bags and put them in my loft away from my stuff that's listed. And when I've got a load more stuff, then I'm going to spend the weekend just listing like a mad woman. And hopefully once I get like a decent amount of stuff, obviously upgrade the shop to the feature shop and get a decent amount of stock to put on to make it worthwhile. And then hopefully, I know really it's quality quality over quantity i get that but i can't find it when i'm looking in charity shops some of the stuff that is worth a lot of money you, you know they want a lot of money for it which is fair enough like you know but i think i, I say i like my shoes so i think i'll stick to my shoes but i am trying to broaden my way of thinking as well and look at other stuff as well but at the moment i'm just getting all shoes so that's my plan so my plan at the moment, tidy this lot up, move it out the way and show you my other stuff. I have a horrible feeling this camera's going to fall in a minute because you're actually on the bed. So if you fall and it freezes, then I will try and start again because I'm actually using my new phone. And I've noticed it seems to be zooming in and out. I don't know if that's normal, what that's all about. And it's in 4K. So I do apologise if you can see every line, every bump <laughs> and everything. And the grey hairs, which... I will be doing my hair later I'm just yeah so so I do apologize for the filming because like I say it's on my new camera and I'm still trying to I'm struggling with it if I'm honest I can't even figure out how to change my ringtone because I keep changing it and then it keeps going on to a totally different ringtone that I've asked it to so at the moment I don't know when it rings what tune I'm gonna hear so I'll show you the rest of my I'll shut up and I'll show you the rest of my stuff so Oops, these are Gabor. Don't know why I say that like that, but they're Gabor and they were four pounds and they're in really good condition. Again, not my size, they're a size five. I thought they were really nice and for four quid, I'm pleased with that. Another bag. These, right, Skechers, they were, the label's coming off, they were four pounds, right? They've got like a yellowy tinge in the middle. They look in pretty good condition. They haven't been worn much, but I ain't got a clue. What's that? I've tried to use a baby wipe. 
I don't know if anybody else has had that with white sketcher shoes. Is that marks on somebody's socks? Or is it the feet? <laughs> is it somebody's yellow feet? I don't know. Um, anybody got any ideas on how to get rid of that? Because that's not very pleasant, is it? I can't really sell them like that unless I do sell them like that and put slightly stained. So uh, yeah, I don't know why they're that colour. So from the same shop, because they're in the same bag, again, hotter, hotter shoes. They were three pounds. They're again in really good condition, I'll be worn, not very nice. They're a bit like plinth songs. So got them two from the same shop. And we're going to the way, another bag. Got these, oh, were they? yeah, these were in the pound basket outside. They're brand new. See, they, they were originally a fibre, but they crossed it out. Originally, can you see, £55. Mind you, I'm going to have to put new with faults because of where they've been bumped all together, they're quite scuffed. But they're only next. Oh. I'll get more than a quid for them, hopefully. So I was quite pleased with them. Like I said, they were in the basket out. So I, was, uh, I did have to, like, fish them out. And again, these... These were in the basket as well. River Island. But they've got a line through it. So you line through the name. Brand new still. Are they brand new? Yeah, they haven't been worn. So if anyone's got any ideas of how to get rid of that ink without actually removing the River Island sign, I'll be really grateful because I know my luck, if I try and get rid of it with white spirits or something, I'll take the whole lot off, which I don't obviously don't want. So yes, yeah, so if anyone's got any ideas on them, again, they were a pain, but I've cleaned them, just put them in. I'm trying to be organised, but it's not really working, but I'm trying. Here's from another shop, right? I got really excited there were, again, loads of stuff outside and there were boots and I picked these boots up in really good condition and they're from, guess who, you'll never guess. It's not Clark's, but it's the other, can you see? Hotter. So it's hotter. We went and asked how much, they're size 7, so they're a good size. How much they are, they're like a burgundy colour. And this is all shoes outside again, a pound. So I got really excited thinking, oh, this is a cheap shop. Nah, I think that was the cheapest item in there. So I got them for a quid, so I was, I was just chuffed with them. But when we went inside, all the other shoes were really expensive, apart from these that have been reduced. They were originally 9 95 they've been reduced to 4 95 hotter again in really good condition i don't hotter and clark's that's the only brands i seem to pick up so yeah so i was chuffed with them they were like five, obviously a fiver so for six quid they got two pairs of hotters one boots and the receipts in the bag i have to keep that i wondered where the receipt had gone so got that and that so i'm pleased with them so i'll just move them out of the way what else another bag not my bag. The bag's fancy. Sometimes I like the bags that they give you. So, this one, right, when I went in the charity shop, you know when you go in and people are just sent in the donations and they haven't had a chance to sort them? Well, they let me have a mooch through. So, so I did. And I found, right, this is weird. There's loads of pairs of shoes. I asked her how much. She says, oh, if you put them on the counter, I'll give you a price afterwards. I put them on the counter. She's two ninety five for them all. And the weird thing is, where's that one? The weird thing is I've lost the other pair. Oh no, it's on my lap. Basically, two pairs, exactly the same. Carvella shoes, look. Oh, hang on, let's try and... I've got two lefts. Have I got two lefts? Hang on, let me sort my uh, feet out. Hang on a sec, I'll be, <laughs> be with you in a minute. Right, is that better? Two pairs of Carvella shoes. Oh, well, I don't even know the bit. They've got some weird rot. I don't know what that is on there. But yeah, they were £2, both size 4, £2.95. So as well, in the same bag, somebody had obviously had a massive clear out of the shoes. A pair of Jones shoes. I think I've had a pair like this for myself at some point. £2.95. And then another pair, Sarah. Sarah Woman. 
Now these wasn't in the bag, these were on the side, on the shelf, but they were £2.50. Zara Woman, really good condition, a bit jazzy. Like, look at them, uh, a bit unusual. Not my cup of tea, but I have to keep remembering, they're not for me. I've got them, and oh yeah, these were in the bag as well for the £2.95 pavers. I think I'm going to have to get some suede cleaner on them. But they're in really good condition. In fact, really good condition. Bit of dirt, but they need a clean. But they were two ninety. Was it two ninety five? I said, yeah, two ninety. I can't even remember what I said then. Two ninety five. I'm not sure it was. And in the bag as well was some more ink. Fifty p. It has been opened, but it's still sealed. Still in the sealed bag. So I'll put a note. Of course, it's expired because every ink that I get is expired. But for fifty p. It's worth taking the chance. Right, so those are them. Right, one more bag of shoes. I think that's it for the shoes then. So how long have we got? Seven minutes of, I've been talking. <laughs> I'll, I'll try and hurry up because I can imagine that you're thinking, just get on with it. So these were four pounds and they are, what brand are they? Clark on Clark's. Can you see Clark's? And they're quite good for four pounds. They have been worn. They've definitely been worn. Don't you think that's odd when people wear shoes and they don't take the tickets out? Or is that just me? <laughs> like, you know. Yeah, so they have been worn, but they're still in really good condition. And then these are these are last shoes. Yeah, those are my last shoes. Oh no, these are my last shoes, not them. Clarks. They were four pounds. You can see they need a clean. Apart from that, in really good condition. So again, I'm going to put these in the bags and show you me other things that aren't shoes. So bear with me. So that it's a bit slanted, that is, isn't it? Hang on. Is that better? So I've only got a couple of things that are not shoes. So <laughs> I'll show you them. It'll be very short. I've got another monkey. I've got a monkey, and it was from the same shop as the other <laughs> place that I got it. Two pounds. Two pounds. So I'm going to put in with the girl monkey and my other monkey, like a monkey bundle. So that's why I bought him. So uh, hopefully that was sale. I think I overpaid. Well, I don't know I overpaid, but I just thought he can go with the girl monkey. Keep the company. Next item is this toy. Toy Chi for House. A DVD and box set, which was £2.95. I did quickly look at it in the shop. And it did look like it was worth more than that. I can't remember now. I'm going to have to have another look. But I thought it was worth picking up. It hasn't got the price on or anything. But Oh, yeah, it has. Oh, God, look at that. I could just see the price now. Bloody £12.99. <laughs> that weren't worth it, was it? Yeah, so that's a fail. So uh, another fail. Just dump that down there. Next item is brand new and sealed. And this was... Grand total of, can you see 99p? 4,000 piece jigsaw. I don't know if this is worth anything, but 4,000 pieces. You must have the patience of a saint to do this. I mean, look at it. Horses and stuff. So, yeah, hopefully this is worth something. It's quite heavy as well, though, but for 95p, I thought it's worth a go. And my last item, now... I really hope I remembered right before I went out. I was watching the Nick and Andrew Hills video doing a jumbo style video, and I'm almost sure I'm gonna have to look back. He picked up this right, what is it? Strategies, and this was 50p. It was outside the charity shop, it's a bit bashed, and that all the pieces look like they're gonna be there. So I picked it up on the basis that I'd watched the video in the morning. so Hopefully I seen the right thing and hopefully it sells, but it was only 50p, so I'm not too worried, but I just thought, as soon as I seen it, I thought, oh, sure, that's the thing I seen Nick and Andrea Hills pick up. He, he had it in the boot of his car, unless I'm thinking of something. Am I right? Does anybody know? <laughs> Did anybody else watch it? I'm sure you all watch the video. I'm on my shoe, is this? But probably not. I was probably mistaken. I was going to say, I was watching a video today, um, Emma Louise Hamilton, the Amazon Dream. She made me laugh. She was going around charity shops because she normally does FBA, uh, not FBA, retail arbitrage. All right. 
but she's doing charity shops and she could buy stuff to put on uh, Amazon. And she was like, I mean, when I check my stuff on my phone, I am a bit more brave now at doing it. But she made me laugh. She went in there and she actually got a tablet, which, you know, tablets are that big, scanning stuff. And then she got a laptop out in the shop, <laughs> you know, and was like, fair play to her. She's got more balls than me. But I just laughed. I thought, oh, I could never do that. I'm not that brave. But she did it. And she's on my stomping ground. Oh, yeah, ma. How's I in his my, my neck of the woods? <laughs> I'm only joking. If I do see you, it'd be nice to see you because I do go around How's I in a lot because it's only down the road from me. But I knew she was from Birmingham, but when she said she's in How, because when she walked around, I thought, oh, that, that looks familiar. I'm sure that's How's I in. And then she said, that's How's I in. I'm like, oi, jog on, Emma. <laughs> Telling everyone where the cheap shops are, giving all our secrets away. But yeah, I just laughed at how how she just got a laptop out in the shop and was just like looking at keeper or something she looked she does fba i think it was keeper or something and she had she couldn't do it on a tablet she had to do it with a laptop and she's there with a laptop anyway it just made me laugh i just thought i wish i was that brave fair play to her <laughs> what is it favor fortunes are brave or something that's why she doesn't pick up stuff like this which it fails and stuff like this that fails because obviously she's more braver and she takes more risks in the shop I mean not like me taking a risk buying it and then realise it's not worth anything so yeah that's it that's all my haul as you can see there's quite a bit of it and it's all going up in my loft in a minute because I'm not going to upgrade my shop until I've got enough stuff to go on because it just isn't worth it and I haven't got decent enough high price stuff to make a decent amount of money with the shop level that I've got I know a lot of people do have the basic shop level and make a living from it because obviously they've got decent quality stuff and they're selling it at a decent price but that makes me think I've got to broaden my horizon I've got to look at different stuff like the Celtic traders they sell a bit of everything uh, like Steve Green, he sells a bit of everything, and I've got to like, I've got to get out my shoe mode if I'm honest. I've got to stop thinking shoe shoe shoes. I've got to look around the shop a bit more because with shoes, same with clothes, you're either a size six or a size five or a size four. If it fits, it fits. If it doesn't, I mean, I've just had another pair come back because they didn't fit, which is fair enough. So, so I've got to look at other stuff. And I'll be watching other videos and Instagram. I'll be looking on Instagram a bit more to see what are bolos. So that's everything. So thank you for watching. If you've managed to stick to the end of this video, well done. Thank you. <laughs> I know it's quite long-winded and I do ramble on a bit. So, but thank you for sticking by me. And thank you to everyone who subscribed and give me the thumbs up. And everybody who makes comments. It is nice that you watch and you do take the time to leave the comments. It is really appreciated. So I'll see you soon, hopefully next week. It won't be a sales update because I've literally sold nothing. I don't think I've sold bugger all, all week, even Amazon. To the point with Amazon, I'm thinking it's even worth bothering anymore because I'm hardly selling every, anything. And it's Friday, I got a message from somebody. Uh, my item hasn't arrived. It's a Mother's Day present. If it doesn't arrive, I expect a refund off you. No information at all, so I had to send them another message. Please, can you give me your order information so I can just double check? So they sent the information. I said, yeah, your item has been posted. If it doesn't get there by Saturday, please contact me again. And then fortunately, Saturday afternoon, I got a message. The item's arrived, thanks. But that's the way it goes. I just struggle with Amazon because there's no customer service with Amazon. With eBay, at least you can go through the is it resolution centre. I don't know if I said that word right. At least if somebody's questioning you, you feel like you've got some backup. With Amazon, like I, when I was moaning about that, um, was it woman in France saying, um, which left me negative, saying I didn't order emails when I hadn't. And Amazon said they'd remove the feedback and they never did. You just, you just do, I've got to admit, maybe it's just me, I don't know. I just feel with Amazon, just feels like that you're just left on your own to, to fight your own corner. I don't feel like you've got... I know, we, like I say, with eBay, 
they are very customer related and buyer related they tend to buy, side with the buyers but at least you feel as if there's a problem it can get sorted with Amazon it feels as if there's a problem tough that's the way I feel with Amazon at the moment and I haven't been listing any new jewellery on there for a while and I just my heart's not in it at the moment if I'm honest I think I need a bit of a boost in sales or something to make me feel a bit more positive towards Amazon because at the moment I'm considering just closing my shop taking all my listings down so nobody can copy them and put their names against them but that's today that's the mood I'm in today with Amazon tomorrow will probably be totally different because my moods change like the wind so anyway I'm off now so it's Sunday today so it's Mother's Day we went out for a meal yesterday because I thought I don't want to go out on the Sunday because it's it's going to be rammed and to be fair it was rammed when we went out last night and they did warn us it would be an hour wait for the food and it was and I enjoyed my burger which was really really nice but like I said when I went to Weight Watchers today that, that weren't good so thank you all for watching take care everyone bye